Hey everyone, Lens of Noz here and welcome to another First Look game. This time it's a game that is not yet released yet uh, by, the game, by the name of Mars Horizon. So you can see down the bottom right, it's I've got a closed beta version of the game. Um, I had signed up on their site for a, an option to play the closed beta and or beta, however you want to call it. Um, but yeah, this will be released sometime this year. <laughs> which makes it a, a bit broad but as this is the beta it's you know it's not it's not finished product as it says content not final um but this is Mars horizon it was developed by auroc digital and published by the irregular corporation so it is a uh, you, you run a, a a space race basically so think of um when man landed on the moon and 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 that sort of stuff you, you start off right back and you can choose either the, the European Space Agency, NASA or, or, or the, the Russian Space Agency. Um, and yeah, you can play through from back then and and to, it will be to present day, I'm assuming it'll be go further, but this is just limited to, um, I think it tells you in the start. So let's just hit new game. Uh, let's go through. So you can choose either the European Space Agency 100% rewards for joint missions, increased chance of joint missions generating 50% science bonus from diplomatic relations and a plus 5% payload reliability. Uh, Russia, uh, invalid launch windows become suboptimal launch windows, no support lost for failed missions and a negative 50% of astronaut hiring cost and upkeep so it's cheaper to get your astronauts. And then you can play as NASA. Uh, you'll get achieving a top three milestone rank grants double support bonus plus one level to all vehicle parts and more contractors available you know I, I played a little bit through uh, I played as ESA I'm going to try playing as NASA let's hit start the game uh, so there should there will be a tutorial when it comes out that there isn't yet where we with the um, the beta we were given a, a, a listing on how to play I just sort of decided to to play without reading that to be honest um, but the long and short of it is you're running this it's January 1957 it's turn based so you don't need to worry about um, taking too long to, to do something it is turn based there are uh, each turn requires you to do some stuff so at the moment I can't end a turn until I set research so you can set research here uh, and there's also this here which allows you to click on it and you can Plan a mission. So the only mission we have unlocked at the moment is a test launch. Uh, to do that, I can hit plan mission and we need to select a vehicle. So we can build a sounding rocket. So this is all unlocked from start. I'm just going to leave the names as default. This one's going to be called Mule. Uh, it's got a 40% launch reliability. So this is going to cost us 80,000. Got 100,000. We're going to get 53,000 every month. We're going to get plus 11 research every month and we're currently got a, a favorability of five so let's hit confirm on this uh, we'll get a an unrevealed trait once it's been complete i'm going to hit build it's going to take a month it's going to take all that money off us and then we can go back and it still wants us to set a research so let's do research and you can either start researching vehicles or you can start looking at missions. So I'm just going to do this one here. And we're going to unlock the mission of an artificial satellite. Uh, so we can now go to the next month. And we've got our vehicle complete. So here is our little mule. Uh, our engineers managed to optimize vehicles attitude control systems, which will improve launch stability. So we get a plus five launch reliability. So it's still only like 45 percent next step is to set a launch date or training training's not is is locked at the moment we need to set a launch date we can come in here and it'll tell you if we uh launch in march it's 20 percent reliability penalty we launch in april there's no launch reliability penalty it's a pretty low reliable uh, rocket anyway so 45 is we'll go with that let's launch in april and confirm go back 
eventually it'll go back there we go right so the next so i can hit next event now and it will go until the next thing happens basically which is probably going to be this so i'm just going to hit next month for now all right so we have researched artificial satellite research complete there we go an essential first step in any space program the first agency to launch a satellite into stable orbit around earth will take a prominent early lead in the space race and we have reached era one and we have unlocked the moon as rocketry as rocket technology advances so does the prospect of exploring beyond the confines of our planet yet the public continue to question whether the fledgling agencies can overcome the dangers of space flight so you can see everything's really well detailed we've got a, a list here of everything that's happened in this era so um we're all we all seem to be launching the test launch next month basically oh no no they're all launching this month so we're actually going to be a month behind because they're just doing it in the suboptimal which may be optimal for them but for us it's not uh let's look at some vehicles i reckon i'd like to look at making the jupiter and next we're going to launch so it's april 1957 we're launching a payload is vital we test the launch facilities so let's hit launch raining fantastic so that can put a dampener sorry terrible terrible dad joke there that'll put a dampener on your on your launch can cause more problems look at the size of this little rocket it's time uh so reliability is probably going to be this one here let's do it anyway see if it actually launches it may fail completely fairly low chance of it succeeding to be honest 28 percent there it goes kaboom <laughs> probably should have waited there goes 80k down the drain nice critical failure yeah but they get a boost so it's, it's a little bit better now this launch failed so guess we probably need to do that again plan another mission build the sounding rocket another 80k let's get that done and we'll go next month after analyzing data from your recently failed test launch, researchers have identified several improvements that can be made to your booster technology. And we gain 15 science. Very nice. We've got the Jupiter, powerful early liquid fuel rocket derived from an intercontinental ballistic missile. Cool. Yep, this guy is built. Can push space to skip it. 60% reliability is decent. Set a launch date. June is good. Oop, I need to confirm that. Sorry, that was asleep. Cool. Very good. And then let's look at our research. I'm going to do the Jupiter Upper as well. Next month. But the Jupiter Upper has been uh, researched. We still, no one has managed. To, oh no, maybe I'm coming third. <laughs> uh, let's launch it. Let's see how we go. Yeah, it's raining again, but we've got a 46 instead of a 28, so let's just do it. Come on. Don't explode this time. You can do it. You can do it. Yay. People are cheering. That's a good sign. Kaboom. Alright. So we just lost a little bit of reward there. But we made it into uh, <laughs> third so we failed our first one we were third in that race uh, let's look at active missions so we need can't do this one yet and moon are uh, the missions here but we can't do either of them either 
Right, so be honest. This needs we need the mission payload research to start planning the mission. So let's do that. We actually need to research the item to be sending back. So that's a small, simple satellite capable of transmitting basic scientific data back from space. Cool. Let's get the artificial satellite underway. Your payload will be the explorer, and you can change this, um, these settings here. So 60% reliable. There's no crew for this. It's got four power, which will come into, you'll, you'll see what that means later. Weighs 15 kilos, takes two months to build. It's going to cost 100k. Or you can change some of these. So you've got um, reduced payload. It's got observation modules, so it's it's better pay, better payload. Not as reliable. Not as reliable. Costs less, a lot less. Um, well, there's this guy here. Uh, and I'm going to do this one. Let's build it. So, research, still needs some more research done. We could, let's go back to vehicles I'd like. These will be good. Let's see. Let's do this building. That'll be fine. Next month. Rocket test pad will allow further and more rigorous vehicle engine testings. Very good. So what we can do now is there's, there's base building aspects. So each of these areas costs money to clear, um, but you can actually move things around. So if I want to build that next building, which is the rocket test pad, it's going to cost me 100K. It's going to take three months to build it. Then you, you've got like a little bit of a mini game here where you need to be able to fit it in and get the most bonus out of it. Um, and we can, we can move stuff around. So what I'm actually going to do is go back. I'm going to move this guy. It's going to cost me money to move it. And it's a negative there, is it? If I move him to there, we're still getting a bonus here. If I then go and put the rocket test pad there, we're going to get a bonus on both of them. We've got the pluses here. Cool. So that'll take a couple of months to build. We have a rig. West, and I can't do a second mission. You can only do one at the moment. Uh, once you expand your base, you can do more than one. But um, that's something for, for later. Let's go set research. Um, let's unlock this. Okay, so we have built this payload, the Explorer. It's not real fantastic in reliability. So we're going to now create a vehicle to launch this into space. So let's design a new one. We're going to pick the upper stage, the Jupiter. So it it has an upper stage capacity of 400 kilos. We only need 15. Um, it has the ability to go to moon. We only need Earth orbit. So that's good. We'll select that one. And oop, I'm going to leave it as beetle it is. And then we need a bottom. It can do 1100 kilos. Very good. That's what we need. Boom. It's going to cost us 188,000. We don't have the money for it. So I'm going to let it run a month. And then another month. And then we can afford it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Build the vehicle most of my money I would have had the money if I um, hadn't built that other thing all right so we've got the ability to send an animal into space let's look at I kind of think it would be better to tip up and get the payload done very good next month oh we're gonna get some more money so we're going to get 79,000 a month instead of 53. That's good. Next month. Take a while. The next event. And you can see how this can take a while to get through and get stuff done. 
All right, engineer support launch vehicle. Yep, very good. Set a launch date. Uh, so we can now do a little bit of training. So you can make your vehicle better. So if we do this, if for every month you do this up to a maximum bonus of 13, you'll get plus three. So we're currently at 65. If I say confirm, and then we go launch date. Here we'll go plus three, so it'll be 68. If I go a launch date in July, we'll get plus six, which is okay. So let's let's do this. Boom. Back next month. Let's give it a go. Small capsule label. Yep. Okay. So we got the Eden capsule. We are getting ready to launch. Give it a go. Fingers crossed, everyone. Raining again. Always raining. Gonna lose a little bit. It's July 1958 and it's raining. Uh, 60 is still decent. We'll go with it. Come on. Slightly bigger rocket. Well, I like those sparks. I'm a bit worried there. Alright, hopefully we've made it into space. Very good. And the boosters will, again, get a boost to them. Or the, the rocket parts. So the more you fire something up into space, the more it will, um, it will be developed, so to speak. All right, so this we to achieve Earth orbit, we now need to do like a little mini game. Um, took me a bit to wrap my head around it at first. Probably still going to fail quite miserably on this, but the idea is here: we need to be able to, in four turns, we need to be able to get two of these wireless things and two of these little hard drivey disc-looking things. Uh, so that's data, and this is, I, don't know, I guess, connection, comms, and observations, right? Um, so we've got two spots to do actions in, and we have six power. So, for me, I've found... First time I'm just going to do one of each of these. So, two, let's, and I'll show you what happens. So let's do the turn. So because this didn't get to the right level, you're going to get some sort of interference, or something's going to happen. Um, we can resist it for an extra power and still claim the thing or you can just let it go and you won't get anything so i'm going to resist it and we'll get one probably going to happen again here because we're very very early on right things are nowhere near as reliable as they need to be okay got one of each so what i tend to do is i'll just do this now and leave one turn because we'll get a plus one continue and we'll get plus one power this will happen definitely a fail look at that two percent uh, but i'll use a power to be able to resist it still have one left and then we're going to do the same here we're going to do this guy and the one extra resolve the turn continue and we'll have one power oh that one oh, look at that one no worries didn't need to except We've got our objective. Mission successful. So we're the first ones to get an artificial satellite into the uh, atmosphere. Cool. So there you go. So this this is what the game is. It's going through. It's completing missions, and it's trying your best to get your your your, your you know, space facilities and and your stuff up to scratch to be able to um to be able to get your agency to be first to do things but definitely a very cool game um i'm liking the look of it i can't wait for it to come out and everything i've played so far is i just picked it up on a and i played for like an hour and a half straight off the bat um but yeah, there is there is a limit. There is a a certain number that you can get to in this in this beta, and I think I've had to record this now because I'm pretty sure I've only got until about the fourth 
of May to be able to play it. So I wanted to do this. Um, I'll put all the links in the description below. By all means, go and wishlist it on Steam. That will definitely help the devs out. Um, but for now, thank you all for... Uh, just lost my save again. That's fine. Thanks, thanks everyone for watching. Um, follow the links down below to go and wish this a game. Check out a little bit more info. Uh, and um, yeah, this has been Mars Horizon by Auric Digital and published by the Irregular Corporation. It's not finished yet. It will be released sometime this year. So check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Thank <laughs> you.